Hi, welcome to Craft Text University. I'm Galen. And I'm Betsy. And today we're going to be talking about what to do with your Craft Text scraps. You have lots of scraps. Because I have bucket loads of them. You can make and book I covers and keychains and wallets, jewelry, all bows. kinds of fun stuff. Make little bows. Bows. So let's get started with scraps. You have so, things to show us. I do. One of my favorite things to make in general is zipper pouches. I have a lot of like little zipper pouches. If you need so one, cute. let me know because I've got they a whole pile so of them at home. But I like to use scraps in the zipper pouches. Sometimes I'll sew the scraps together and do all craft text, which is what this one is. And these are about, oh, probably two inches by four inch scraps, so little ones. This one I've combined with fabric, which is always good if you only have real small ones. We use a little bit for a patch here, and then this one on the bottom. This just piece that's top stitch. And you just top stitch this. You yep. didn't. This one, when you connected this to the zipper, you did you did do it in a traditional way, so it's full yep. of zipper. But you can also yep. top stitch zippers too, depending on your Absolutely. pouch pattern. Yeah. And this one, Lynn that Coolish one. made this one. She dyed this one for some yep. reason. I just love this. I love it's this very pouch. cool. It opens. Um, you can see that she kind of painted. It's more vibrant on the other side. I just love this. Yeah, little shape. very, very cool. Yeah, not a very big piece. So that's one thing you can do with your scraps. So I'll grab these. Yep. Here's another thing you can do with your scraps. You can make little, I make a lot of these little card cases too, which are kind of fun to have for business cards or these are almost like a little coin purse type thing. Oh yeah, this is so cute. And it really doesn't take much craft text at all. Not right? at all. It takes a couple and then, you know, a couple pieces for the stripes if you want to do a stripe. And then this one, you know, I mean, it's just a, what, like a two by five piece of, no, three by five and made a little, um, phone what case. do you call it? Phone, phone case. case. Yeah, phone. That's what that is. Little business card slot there. And these little coin purses can clip onto the back of any, mm -hmm. outside of any bag. Yep. And that only so takes cute. a piece that's about, oh, maybe you started out with about a five by five size piece. So again, little scraps that you can put together in fun ways. I haven't made one of these yet, but you can find the pattern for this on their website. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Betsy yep. wrote that up and we put it up there. So you too can make it every time a new craft tech color comes out and you have scraps, you can make them. Yeah, it's really easy. Super easy. You also need a piece of felt too. Card cases. Business card holders. Betsy, you made this, you did a die cut. So mm -hmm. you had two scraps about the same size. The, the craft is a little bit bigger, but yep. you just die cut this black and you put it over. And mm -hmm. when she stitched it down, I mean, it's just a little fold on both sides. She just stitched the outside and then where the fold was. So in here, it's kind of loose and it creates a cool little shadowy kind of effect right in there. So a little card case. Yay. I love that one. I'll have to make you one. And then let's see, left to right, right to left. Um, just a little uh, holder for a notebook. Again, very simple. Just turn the edges over, sew it down, and then add a few embellishments. Super easy. Same kind of idea, but with bigger pieces. For a checkbook. Fold, for a checkbook cover. And then Tristan made this, and she stitched this. And then she used a stencil and paint to create the paper airplane. And there's a whole blog post on using stencils on craft text for great inspiration. Ooh, we'll cool. put the link below, but it's on the CNT blog. Very cool. And the last one of these is the, um, it's like a luggage tag holder. Real simple, a couple square pieces with the inside cut out. This one has vinyl here, clear vinyl, but you can also leave it empty. If and you, you know, I love craft text on the strap. Craft text so on the strap. So that's a, it's another small little case you can make. And then here's this, you made this desk set. Look at this desk set, that is so cute. Yep, there's a little scissor, what would you call this? Sheath, protector, Probably. holder, scissor yeah. holder. And um, this is for a, just a letter opener here, a pencil case, and that's the same pattern. This is actually the pattern that we did a tutorial on a couple of weeks ago. So. Um, if you'd like to make your own pencil case, the link for that's down below too. Yeah, and don't forget to post it um, with the hashtag Craft Text University on Pinterest and Instagram. Yeah, because it was a homework assignment before. Yeah, but yeah. we gave you, you can have an extension on the homework. Yeah, it'll be yeah. an extension. Next up for scraps are bookmarks. This is my favorite. Bookmarks are a really fun way to use up some small scraps because you can die cut them, you can do a little stamping on there. Um, this one has some fabric mm -hmm. that was just layered. 
Um, this has got embossing and stamping and die cuts. I think you have some fast diffuse in here. Oh, I might. Yeah. 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 There's, yep. Holding the fabric. Yep. Um, yeah, it's a good, it's a fun way to experiment too, because if you just want to try a little bit of stamping or sometimes you'll stamp something or you'll paint something and you mess it up, but you've still got a little corner that's like really cute, you can always cut that off and make a bookmark. So bookmarks are a fun way to use up those little bitty pieces that are just hanging like out. It. Yep. What do we have next? Home deck. Oh, yeah. you made coasters. I did. Did you? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Here you go. Here, on hand. there you go. Yep, yeah, these coasters are just, um, again, using die cuts, uh, and I found some round cork coasters. I don't remember where I found them. So, oh, so on this one, the craft text are these little white dots, right? Yep, the they're white layered, dots. layered with um, some felt. And, and this is the framework, and mm -hmm. then black black craft text on the inside. Yeah. So, so they're so cool. Die cuts and some sewing, a little bit embossing. So that's just a little fun thing to do with the round ones there. And these are different variations of kind of a woven thing. You're the woven queen, but right. this is an no, early it's good. It was an early, early iteration. Yeah. I like it. And I like that you added the stitching and on top of the fabric. Yep. Did that one. This one is woven with felt because I thought it'd make nice um, for absorbing, you know, the water would mm -hmm. be kind of good. I'm going to bring in the key fobs. Here are key fobs. So you can actually get this hardware, right? It's yep. key fob, is that what it's called? Key, key fob, fob hardware. hardware. Mm -hmm. And you can get it at the regular chain stores. You can get it online. You can get it at a lot of fabric stores that mm -hmm. sell hardware. Yeah. Or you can so do it simple and just have a little ring. That's fine too, if you don't want to bother with the key fob hardware. Yeah, this is just a single piece of craft text, just a strip that's about an inch and a half. This one's layered with fabric, but you can also use ribbon. Like if you have a little piece of pretty ribbon that you want to use that isn't enough to do much with and make a key fob out of it. Okay. And then this is just a simple little tassel. tassel. Very cute. And that's cute. You use these as embellishments on your bigger bags too. Mm -hmm. You can. Yeah, like a zipper like pull. A zipper. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And I love you using these stamps. Oh yeah, I've got buckets full of stamps too. And I love to use them for embellishing on um, the zipper pouches. You can use, you know, I like to make name tags too with stamps. Mm -hmm. But uh, what I'll do is I'll take a scrap of Craftix and sew a bunch of stamps onto it. And then when I'm ready and I can, you know, ready to use them, mm -hmm. then I can cut out the ones I need and they're all ready to go. So and you just stitch them on. Little, just stitch them on, yep. So now cool. obviously once you've used one of these, you can't wash it. So just keep that in mind. But if for book covers or bookmarks. Can you um, put a fabric medium over them? You might, you might be, you able be able to, to do that. I'm not sure. Be careful. I haven't, yeah, I haven't tried that yet. I haven't put them on anything that I need to wash, but that's kind of a fun thing to do with a little. Like and this it. is actually a piece of fabric. Oh, on top part of, of the fabric craft that was fussy cut. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. So fun things to do with little bitty pieces. And then also small pieces. These are these are all different. The thing about these is that they're die cuts, right? So this has oh, these, these leaves. Super cute. These leaves are all different leaf die cuts. And then you can use them like on your table in fall or as decorations. You can make a wreath out of them. I think that'd be so cute as a wreath. It really you would know, be. You make about 400 of them. So just free motion stitch the veins and then you use metallic paints um, and different washes mm -hmm. to get kind of that yeah, glittery gorgeous. effect. So here's another use of die cuts. And this card was made so by cute. Norma Jean Brevik. And what she did was use the die cut for the main shape. And then she put like yellow behind the windows and she painted the houses. It's connected to the base, but she painted them with a little metallic it's paint. Super a wash. Cute. You could still see the craft text through it. I added a little ribbon. Really cute. And Betsy, you made this envelope. So she made the card. Here's a regular envelope, but you made this envelope out of craft text. Yeah. Just a super <clears throat> simple little envelope pattern. I think I actually took an envelope unfolded it, used the pattern, and then cut it out of craft text. And you can always do that for envelope patterns. If you have one that you like, like those tall skinny ones oh, or something yeah. kind of funky or fun, you can use that as the pattern. Just un unstick it and trace it and use that for your pattern. So, so that's cute. what I did here. And then the heart's a die cut. A little bit of decorative stitching. So another thing you can do uh, is make die cut. If you have a die cut machine, 
these are really, really cute. They're little brooches that Sue Astroth made in our office here. She's a t very talented. Yes. These are just all adorable. Just little tiny pieces. Yeah, really cute. So cute. So it's a fun thing to do with little scraps. And yeah, you can make jewelry. This look, is look um, at her earrings. You oh, have Betsy's earrings. See with earrings. Oh, I have my earrings. We have our earrings. Yeah. And um, here's some another pair. It's just little pieces. These have been painted with metallic paint. But oh, you did. You took the craft color, and then you you painted them with three different metallics. Yeah. Oh, that looks really good. Yeah. So I just quickly made some little little templates to use for the three pieces so that they were roughly the same size. A little hole in the top, a little pearl, put them on your little, uh, what do you call it, earring earring findings. They're not the same thing you did with the earrings you're wearing now? Same thing with these, yeah. yeah. Just little pieces. On mine I took little teeny strips of craft text and, and then punched a tiny little hole in the top and put them on a jumper. Oh, look how little that hole is. Very cute. You know, it's a great... I really a, like those. It's a great um, hole punch. Yeah. Super small. You could do it with a needle. You could do it with a needle too. Very cute. And then a couple of bracelets. This one has um, fabric and craft text as the base on this cuff. So just to give it some uh, support. So there's a little strip on the back and the front. Just a little bit of color and support for that one. This one um, is just a. It was a really narrow strip, but I just put some little studs in there. Little top stitching. Okay. Super easy. Did you, where did you get these studs? Those are actually um, from, they're like paper crafting, uh, oh, what do you call those little things? Yeah, yeah, brads with brads. the little thing, the little pokey things. The pokey thing, And yeah. then rivets. Yeah. Just simple rivets. Eyelets. Oh, yeah, eyelets. ones with eyelets. Or eyelets. eyelets, yeah. And then this is a finding you also find in the jewelry or the purse area? I found that one in the paper crafting area, actually, nice. but I think you can find them in a couple different spots. Very cool. So, and you made oh, a super like cute bracelet. little bracelet. Yeah, I love that bracelet. We can, I have I have the material, so we can show a little tutorial. <gasps> awesome. But that it's just so using fun. a snap to close it, and then tying together different pieces of craft oh, text I love that. with that is um, so cute floss, embroidered floss. I love it. And so you can do all kinds of colors. The color combinations would be, you could do all like you solid, and then do colorful floss. Oh yeah, I mean, that'd be kind of fun. That would be fun. So yeah, let's see. Let's do a tutorial. Yay! So I'm excited because I want to make one of these bracelets. So show me how you did it. Okay, first let me show you. This is that teeny tiny little hole punch I use for these earrings. That is so I don't cool. think anybody can see exactly how tiny it is, but they're Fiskars. And they're, it's just it's a little itty bitty little thing. Very handy. Okay, so to make this, the first thing I did was I put a snap. Snaps work really well in craft text. You've used, mm -hmm. you've made uh, snaps. Yeah. So you I follow your standard this. instructions for making snaps. You use whatever snaps you have, um, whatever tool you have for closing them. So the first thing you do is you take one of the little rings, you take the ring, and you're gonna push it through your craft text. So it, you know, it's, it's pokey, right? Mm -hmm. it, yeah. it could kind of hurt a little bit. So this is when you usually get out your trusty pencil eraser and just push down until the little spikes come through the craft text. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little more difficult than with your regular fabric, but it's really not hard at all. Look, it's already through. And then with this handy dandy snap, that is you like so this. Cool. I know you like yeah, this. I want you put one. the little um, ring in the bottom part and then you close that. And then you put the other part of the snap in the top part oh, and you close this. But so this cool. is going to make a loud noise, so I'm really sorry. People may run in from the other room. You usually would use a hammer. I use a meat mallet because that's what I have. My studio is much closer to the kitchen than the garage <laughs> where the tools are. So I did I'm did. i going to do it one more time to make sure it's all the way in. That's it. So now my snap is in cool. there. So then I just use scissors for this part, and I cut around where the snap is. You know, I obviously, it was my kind of my rocker oh, but, look, so I didn't really worry about making it nice. Kind of free form mm -hmm. it. There. I free formed it. And then I have um, my rotary cutter. I use my rotary cutter and I cut, you know, a bunch of different strips in so different lengths. you can lengths. do any size strips. Mm -hmm. I tended to start with long ones to kind of go around the whole wrist and mm -hmm. then add it in other colors. But the next thing you're going to do is take, now this is a small hole punch. It's not like a standard binder paper size hole punch. It's still small. And just punch holes. So when you punch holes in the craft text, 
it's not going to tear, right? There's nothing mm -hmm. for anything to catch on. So I added a couple of different holes so I could add embellishment threads to make it more colorful. Ooh, so fun. I did a couple of Ooh. holes there. You know, I did holes as you kind of go along. Mm -hmm. And then all I did, actually, let me take another, where's another little scrap? Here we go. Let's punch a hole in this one. So there's two different ways I used embroidery floss, just standard embroidery floss. And to do a little decoration, I just went into the hole and I got it kind of near where I'd want to tie a knot. And I just kind of did a figure eight motion a couple of times to wrap it a bit around it. Oh, that is so cool. And then I like a little tie. Yeah, I like how the little edges kind of make a little tassel-y look yeah. there. So I cut it and then just tied a little knot. Of course, you know, what we should do is magic of class in a video, just have it already tied and not watch me fumble no, around not. trying to tie it. No, but this is real. Okay, it's real. This is real. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's it. So that's how you do the little decorations. Serious, this whole bracelet and tying everything would take you maybe 10 minutes. Oh, I'm... I'm going to go back to my desk. And okay. You can't. I can give you scraps. <laughs> so then you do a bunch of ties, decorations, pick whatever colors you want. And then to connect them together, I did the same kind of idea. Instead of a figure eight, I left a little, little tail. I looped it. So I made a loop going around. I did it at least a couple of times. Two or three times? I did. I just, you probably don't need to do that for strength since I'm using, I went right through the middle of that floss. Since it's, um, I used all six strands. Mm -hmm. um, I want them a little bit apart so it can spin around, but I wanted to have enough floss that you really saw it because I used yeah. different colors. Mm -hmm. And when I went around twice, so I went around twice here, I, you hold. I can do this on my own. You just hold that. Um, actually, hold on a second. A little closer. A little close. There we go. I um, Before tying my knot, I wrapped this around once so that it would kind of... Mm -hmm. See how it's wrapping right in the middle of that floss before I tied my knot. Oh, super so cute. So simple. Oh, I love that. And I was gonna say, the only thing to keep in mind is by the end, you wanna ha make sure that the opposite side of your snap is one's up and one's down, but they mm -hmm. twist, so it, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. That's it, that's your tutorial. That's homework. Nice. Homework. Oh. Make yourself a bracelet of some Very kind. Cute. Actually, you know what, you can do anything with scraps. Just do I, something I'd with like your to scraps. See what you guys do with your scraps. Yeah. So send yeah. us in. We have your a lot ideas. of scraps. Yeah. We need more ideas. Yeah. I have two boxes full of scraps. I don't know why, but I do. <laughs> so yeah, I need lots more ideas. Okay. Great. Class dismissed. <laughs>